Good afternoon, traders. Good afternoon. This is Manny the Magoo. It's Tuesday, May the 4th at 4.47 p.m. after hours. And um, I just wanted to quickly go over the recap of my video that I posted on Sunday on YouTube. I went over two stocks, Boeing, BA, and the second one was AMD. And I wanted to show you the criteria of what it takes when I look to get into a trade okay i wanted to show it to you and i want to show you how it played out because uh you could have made some tremendous money with not only ba but also amd okay so first thing i'm going to do let's go over ba first as you know these are all these right now that you're looking at these are all weekly candles okay i'm a price action trader so basically what i do is i like playing the weekly highs the weekly lows, the monthly highs, and the monthly low candle breaks, okay? Why? Well, weekly highs and weekly lows, monthly highs and monthly lows are areas of support and resistance depending where the price is. So, let's take a look at this weekly chart. I'm going to zoom in right here. So, this candle right here, the 426 candle, if you saw my Sunday's video, what I do is every week that goes by i when the week is over i immediately draw a line on the top on the high of the candle so the high of the candle last week on boeing was 244.65 the low was 231.80 okay so i draw my red line there's my red line here and there's my red line there okay then what i do is i go to a monthly chart these are all monthly candles on Boeing. What do I do? Well, I go to the previous month, which was April. I draw my high on April, which is $260.48, and the low was $230.22, okay? So, and I've identified these lines. If I zoom in here, they're yellow, okay? So yellows are my monthlies. And by the way, this monthly line stays here for the whole month of May. I do not move my monthly yellow previous month's high and low on April. I keep them there for the whole month, okay? So, let's go to a shorter term time frame and I'm gonna show you how this played out, okay? So, I got a five minute chart here. So let's go to the last two days, okay? I'm gonna highlight this. All right, so, here you have it. So, here's Monday. This area here that's shaded in dark black. This gray area here is pre-market, after hours, and so on and so forth. Okay? So, as you can see, on Monday, it didn't do anything. Okay? It didn't break down. Let's go to a, a little bit larger time frame so we can see the high. Here you go. Let's highlight this. Okay? As you can see, Boeing did not break the high of last week's high, and it did not break the low of last week's low on Monday. Okay, so, all right, so it didn't do that. So I wait, I do not play unless I see the break, okay? All right, now, what did it do today? Well, look at this. Boeing broke 231.80, okay? Soon as it broke 231.80, it's breaking last week's low, which was support, okay? So it broke it, what does Manny Magoo do? I take the trade, I go short. Now, not only did it break last week's low, it broke last month's low, and it kept running, okay? Now, if you want to stay in the trade, I don't see why you shouldn't. Um, if you got in on the break of 231.80, well, your stop should be as close to that 231.80 as possible, because let's just say, for example, it doesn't work. Let's say it comes, it breaks its 231.80, bounces back and breaks above it again. You can always get out. Now, it's up to you to get out, and it's up to you to um, uh, get out as soon as you want to. If, if you want a 10-cent stop, that's up to you. If you want a 5-cent stop, that's up to you. If you want a 50-cent stop, that's up to you. Everybody has their own size, and everybody plays with their own money. I go in usually heavy on these breaks, so I have a very, very tight stop. If it doesn't work, I get out. It doesn't cost me much. 
If I get in at 231.80 and I get out at 231.85 or 231.90, what am I losing? 10 cents. That's it. Okay? So I can afford to lose 10 cents. And I'm sure a lot of you can as well. So I wait for the break. It broke. I held on to the stock. Okay? What did it do? Then it broke. 230.22 was last week's low. So I'm, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm really doing well. I, I got in on the break of 231.80. Let's call it 231.75. And I'm riding this thing all the way down. Now, um, what I did was I held. Now, what I do once I'm in, okay, I immediately go to a shorter term time frame to look at certain areas of support and certain areas of resistance. And usually I go to an hourly chart, okay? So I go to my hourly chart and I could clearly see that on the hourly chart, the only support I had was actually last week's, uh, um, last month's low. So I don't see any support within the last, I call it, let's see here. On the hourly chart, I have 30 days. In 30 days, I don't see any support. So what do I do? I go farther back. Let's go to a four hour, 90 day chart, okay? All right, here you have it. So it broke the, the last month's low. The first area of support that I see is gonna be right there. It's gonna be this candle. Let me show it to you. Let me zoom in, okay? You see this candle right here? The 9 a.m. candle back on 3-1, March 1st. The high, that high is 226.98. I knew that my first support was gonna be there, okay? So it actually broke 226, okay? It went to 225.65. So what do I do? I keep letting it go. As it, as it starts coming up, what do I do? I know that 226.98 uh, is gonna be now a resistance area. If it breaks that resistance and starts going higher, I can get out. And that's exactly how I played it. Now, <clears throat> I wasn't finished with Boeing, okay? Today was a monster trade for me on Boeing, all right? So not only did I short it, I got out. And what did Boeing do? Well, Boeing tried to get back inside on the monthly. And as I said, folks, the monthly highs and lows, they become major areas of support and resistance. What did Boeing do? Boeing tried to break this area right here and go back inside. It did not do it. Usually on the first time in, it doesn't do it. It usually fails, okay? Now, I, I'm completely out of the trade. I made my money. I didn't ride this whole way down, but boy, do I wish I did. But I didn't, okay? I did not do that. I waited, waited patiently. Now, as soon as I saw Boeing go up to this area again, I wanted to see a clear break of this 230.22, <coughs> excuse me, which was last month's low. What did it do? It got there and boom, came right back down. But what really got me interested on the second time, the third time, is that as you can see here, it's putting in, if you notice this, <coughs> excuse me, and this is something you should definitely learn. You see how Boeing is making higher lows? Look. There's the low of the day. It went up, came back down. It put in a higher low. This low isn't as low as this one. We're breaking it. Then it went up, came back down. That's a higher low. Went up, came back down. That's a higher low. So all these lows are higher. That's an indication of a reversal, okay? So I'm really liking this pattern. As a matter of fact, you can draw a line here. <clears throat> excuse me, and you can clearly see that it's just staircasing. It's just marching its way up. So what did I do? Well, this time when Boeing broke, I took the trade. Now, I didn't get into this trade till about 230 around there. I believe it was $230.30. I always go a couple pennies higher, okay? Since I did so well with the trade in the morning, what I did was I put a 20 cent stop from that area. It never got there. Consolidated here for a bit. I was thinking, oh, you know what? Maybe it's going to come back down. Never. And it just took off. Okay. So not only did it break the monthly low, then it broke the weekly low again. And as you can see, look what happened. Boeing got to the weekly low, pulled back, got to the weekly low, 
pull back. Almost the same thing like it did on the monthly low. Because why? Weekly lows, weekly highs. Monthly lows, monthly highs, they hold a lot of weight, folks. Okay? So um, right now I am completely out of Boeing. I sold my position before um, <clears throat> the market closed. I did absolutely phenomenal on this trade. So not only did I make money on it, the break going down, I made money on the break going up. And that's how you play it. It's a very defensive strategy because I clearly identify to the penny the breaks, okay? 231.80, last week's low, last month's low, 230.22. Once it breaks this area, folks, these lines then become resistance. They don't become support anymore until it breaks back above it. Then it becomes support, okay? So that's BA. The next one, <clears throat> AMD. So here you have it. Here's another one on AMD. So yesterday, AMD, what did it do? Let's take a look at, again, <clears throat> my weekly chart. These are weekly candles on AMD, okay? So what did I do? I went to last week's candle. The low was $81.42. The high is $89.20. So I draw my lines. I draw my red for the weekly high and low. I draw my well yellows for the monthly high and low, okay? So my weekly high, $89.20. My weekly low, $81.42. Okay, here's the monthly. Now the monthly uh, high of April was the weekly high of last week. So if you don't see the yellow, it's because the yellow and the red are exactly at the same penny. So it's $89.20. So $89 was last week's previous week's high and it was also the April high, okay? But however, I do have my low of $77.94. So let's take a shorter term time frame. And here you have the last two days. And here you have it, folks. Look what it did. AMD broke 81.42, and it was all she wrote from there, okay? You could have kept holding this trade. You could have hold it overnight. I got in on AMD short, okay? Um, I held it all day. I sold some before the close of the market, thinking it was possibly going to bounce. Reason being, it was really getting close to the monthly low as well of $77.94. And I already made a tremendous amount of money getting in on the break of $81.42. Okay. And again, today, um, what did it do? Then it broke the monthly, which was $77.94. And I'm going to show you something. It's going to be really interesting so you could see how it plays out, okay? This is a very short time frame, but I'm just going to show you just so you could see how much weight the monthly lows, the monthly highs, or the weekly lows or the weekly highs have. Tremendous amount of support and resistance, okay? Look how many times today AMD try to get back inside and break above last month's low one two three four five six seven eight nine nine times it took nine times for amd to break a back above now you got to keep an eye on one thing very very important just like i showed you on boeing okay when i believe the trend is going to reverse and it's trying to get back inside. This is what you want to see. Let me show you. You see this? AMD put in a low, went up, went up to the resistance area of last month's low, came back down. But look, it put in a higher low. What did it do here? It went up, came back down. What did it do? put in a higher low, went up, came back down, put in a higher low, and then went. So this right here, you could see that now last month's low of $77.94 is the support. Now, you could have taken this trade, okay? 
Um, I actually, um, I did not. I, I didn't take it. I was busy focusing on something else at the time. But check this out on AMD. If you got in here at 77.94, well, you could have rode it all the way to uh, 78.10, which isn't really much, okay? However, did it work? No. It came back down. It broke the 77.94. Let's say you had to stop at 77.90, or let's say even 77.85. What do you lose? 10 cents? That's it. It's take, it costs 10 cents to find out if you're going to have a run or not. Okay, so that's one. So let's say you were to go in, I'm just going with 100 shares. Let's just, I'm giving you an example of 100 shares. You go in with 100 shares, you get out 10 cents. On 100 shares, you lose 10 bucks. Okay, then you do it again. You get in 77.94. Let's say you get in 77.95. Now, if you want, you can take profit. It went all the way up to 78.16. I'm not saying not to take profit. Okay, however, let's say it didn't work came back down. You got out again, 77.85. That's another 10 cents at 100 shares. So how much are you down now, folks? 20 bucks. Now, you get in again, $77.95. Well, guess where it went to? 78.68. Okay? 78.68. Does it pay to keep your shorts, uh, your stops to a, 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 a limit? Absolutely it does. Okay, so I just wanted to show this to you because I really, really, if you don't understand support and resistance, if you don't understand Fibonacci's and MACD's and RSI's and Elliott Waves and every moving average there is out there, okay, one thing that you can clearly understand, the only way a stock can move is if it goes up, it goes down, or it goes sideways. That is the only three directions for a stock, up, down, sideways. I'm not saying moving averages don't work. I'm not saying MACDs and RSIs don't work. And I'm definitely not saying that my system is the holy grail. But I will tell you one thing, okay? If you don't understand support and resistance, and you play this way, you just play the candle breaks, okay? When the candle breaks up, you take it long, knowing that if it comes back down, that's going to be support. If, the, if, if it breaks down, then the, the candle's high becomes resistance, okay? If you play the weekly and monthly breaks, I can promise you at the end of the day, at the end of the week, and at the end of the year, if you stay disciplined, if you can't make money, something's wrong. Something's wrong, okay? So anyhow, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment on the video. And please, if you could, subscribe to that channel, hit the like button, I want to see more people subscribing. I'm hoping that I'm helping in any way, shape, or form. I do this for free, folks. So any comments, please just uh, state them, or you can email me, hunterchasetrading at gmail.com. Enjoy the rest of the week, and I hope this video really helped. Cheers, folks.